Hi, this tutorial shows how to perform real-time tractography of the uptake radiation using the fiber navigator. We're going to be using the human connectome data. So here, as you can see, I have an FA map which will serve only for visualization purpose. We are in fact going to be using the white matter and gray matter mask to perform tractography. We also need a set of pre-computed peaks. In this case, they were extracted from fiber ODFs but feel free to use any set of main directions issued from your favorite reconstruction method. So we first need to go to the tractography panel and select our peaks dataset as input. This will instantly create a seed region of interest represented by the purple box. To move the seed region, just right click on the box. Then we're going to give our white matter mask and gray matter mask to the algorithm and we are ready to initiate tractography. Feel free to move the box around and explore the structure or connectivity. Please note that streamlines are computed in real time from the seed ROI. This means that you can have access to the tracking parameters on the left and directly see the effect on the tracks. Another advantage here is to easily find the LGN, which is a key region in the reconstruction of the optic radiation. So now I initiated the tractography in the left-right direction to ensure that streamlines will propagate towards the Mayer's loop. You might want to increase the number of seeds in order to achieve a better coverage of the bundle. You can also change the size of the seed region by holding the control button of the keyboard and right-clicking on any edge of the box. As you can see, we have some undesired streamlines propagating towards the temporal pole, which we will take care of. There is actually many options to do this and I'm going to present two of them. The first one consists in eliminating these streamlines during the tracking process by giving an exclusion map to the algorithm. So here, I will be quickly drawing a region of interest that will remove any streamlines entering it. Another option would have been to draw a target region of interest located in the visual cortex. We might also want to get rid of this spurious streamline. The second method consists in converting the current track to a static scene object, which will appear on the list on the left. This allows the user to save his tracks on the disk as a VTK format, for example. From there on, you cannot change the tracking parameters anymore but you can still interact with the track to apply different color maps, for example. So we are going to add a new region of interest, which will be an exclusion region. Remember that the size and the position can be adjusted interactively. You might want to remove some of the fanning depending on your analysis. This can be done by adding another exclusion region at the same level of the previous one. Finally, we can deactivate the rendering of those regions of interest to have a clearer view of the track. I hope that you are now convinced that exploring and querying your data is a crucial step. Here are some links regarding the Fiber Navigator. Thanks for watching.